I don't know how I feel on this. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy I am and this is I am Sneakers. Good day sneakerheads and thank you again for stopping by on my channel. I am Sneakers and if you're passionate about sneakers, if you love sneakers or if you have interests about sneakers, you are on the right channel. And if you haven't yet already or if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when I drop a new video. And you can also find me outside YouTube. All my social links will be included in the description of this video and please do me a favor by smashing that like button because it helps the channel to grow and for today's episode we will do a closer look and detailed review of the adidas yeezy 350 v2 in blue tint coloring and with all that being said let's go Honestly, I'm not really excited with this. I don't know, maybe it's just me that I can no longer feel the excitement with Yeezy 350s. It is what it is, but this is one of the OG colorways of Yeezy 350. If you do not know, this is just a restock. The first release was last December 2017 and they restocked this last month, January 2022. But I'm still glad as I cop this in retail as I won a raffle of Commonwealth PH. The retail price of this pair is 230 US dollars or 13,100 in Philippine peso. So let's start the unboxing by looking at the box. The pair comes in a typical Yeezy carton box with 350 branding at the top, boost on the side, and another branding on this one, Yeezy Boost T50 made by Adidas and the small logo of Adidas there. And on the opposite side, you have the box label. And it says here, Yeezy Boost 350 V2. And the official colorway is Blue Tint Gret HR Herrera. So technically, this is Blue Tint colorway. So let's open the box. Upon opening the box, it comes with this paper. Uh, the typical paper of um, Yeezy Boost. And here is the shoe. This is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 in blue tint colorway. First impression. This is like the uh, zebra colorway with blue tint on it. There is no specific or there is no significant difference with the 2017 release. They are pretty similar as it's just a restock. To appreciate how good they are, let's take a closer look. Just like the other Yeezy 350s, the upper is made up of prime knit material. The colorway is like the zebra with blue tint on it. The midsole and outsole is a semi-translucent rubber with boost technology. Starting at the front panel of the shoe, you have this prime knit material on the toe part and both on the medial sides, it has gray zebra pattern. An exposed stitching from the toe part up to the tongue and you have this default light blue rope laces. The 
going to the lateral and medial sides. On the medial sides, the zebra pattern is very pronounced. While on the lateral side, you have this SPLY-350 on the light blue stripe. A semi-translucent midsole in light blue. Going to the back panel of the shoe, you have this pull tab with accent of dotted line in bright orange. This is the same color with the SPLY-350 and exposed stitching just like on the toe part. Looking on the interior part of the shoe, you have that light blue insoles with Adidas Yeezy branding in bright orange as well. A light blue lining on the sock liner and the three stripes reflective. A semi-translucent outsole with exposed boost. with boost branding at the heel part and adidas branding at the toe part as far as sizing is concerned these are snug fit i will always recommend going half size up but of course, it is better to try them on first before copying if you have the opportunity. And in terms of comfort, these are ridiculously comfortable. Boost is life. The Boost technology is the most successful one in providing comfort. The prime knit material contributes to the comfort as well. Overall, I can't deny that this is one of the dopest OG colorways of Yeezy 350. And this restock is a good opportunity to cop one if you didn't make it last 2017. Just like what I said earlier, I'm not really excited with this. Maybe because we have too many colorways of Yeezy 350s. And I will still choose the Yeezy Zebra colorway over this. That is just my opinion. Different strokes for different folks. And that's how good the Yeezy 350 V2 blue tint colorway. Let me know your thoughts on this pair. Do you love this colorway? Are you still excited with the... Uh, Yeezy 350 in general, anything that you want to share, leave a comment below and let me know. And if you haven't yet already or if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first one to get notified when I drop a new video. And that's it for this episode. Always remember, cup what you want, rock what you love. See you on the next one. Peace. God bless. Hangar Samudi. That you never